this is going to be part two of our floor to lease uh, that we drew earlier and so uh, this image was given to me and the lady wanted me to recreate it so uh, this is copper plate the font here this font is called Adeline um, and so basically I've got that set up um, this was looked a little squished in the picture so I just selected my shape um, and squished it a little bit Oops. I don't necessarily really like doing that, um, but if somebody wants me to match something, then I will. So um, now I've got this script font here, um, and what I want to do is go ahead and create this contour line and subtract it from the background. So I think um, I'm going to center this, so I selected the text, and then if I shift and select the background as well and hit C on my keyboard it will center that it'll center it up this way if I wanted it or it was center it on this line basically if I wanted to center it um, on this line if I hit E then it'll move it um, that way which uh, that looks about right close enough um, I'll go ahead and throw these in here so it goes from about here on the K over further out. Okay. We'll go ahead and center that just to make sure. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and then just do another uh, duplicate this one, drag it down and hit action so it's the same size and everything. And I'm just going to uh, select one of my shapes and go ahead and center that back up. Okay, now that I think, yeah, that's a little bit low compared to what it was in the original, so we're going to bring that up. Okay, that's probably good enough. Okay, so um, for these, they are they're still text, and so what I normally do before I go and um, convert these to not text anymore, convert them to shapes, is I duplicate the shape, <clears throat> because I've learned that if someone wants different words, then I still want those uh, text to be there. So I just have an extra one um, hanging out that has my font still. Okay, so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to, um, you can hit Control K or right click, or I'm sorry, Control Q. Uh, right click convert to curves is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do that with each of these. You can select them all and do it at the same time if you want. Um, and so these are pretty simple. Um, we're just going to do a contour and I think what we did here is probably going to be sufficient. So that was like basically 0 0.025 um, we're gonna go to the outside and change it to a color we can see apply <clears throat> let's see uh, maybe a little bit much and so we can just use these here while we haven't clicked off of this or anything so it's still gonna apply so we're gonna um, just bring that down hit apply I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing where we broke our contour group apart. So we're going to right click on the contour group and break it apart or control K. Uh, both of these are still selected. So we're going to click off and just select the yellow. And then we're going to shift and select our red piece back here and just back minus front. And now we have that line there. So we're going to do the same with this one. Now we did 0 0.015 is what it ended up being to the outside yellow, go in here right click, break contour group apart, click off, select the yellow, select the red, back minus front. Okay, now I don't really like this tiny little line, that's not going to cut very well, so we're just going to um, delete that. Actually, hold on. I'm just going to control Z back here a minute because I think what we want to do before we get anything else is stretch this down a little bit further. You can see that the action word is not uh, so close to that. So let's pull these down a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. Tuck this up in there a little bit more. Okay. Go back and redo what we just did. See if this break this apart. Okay, create our contour here. Oh, it did show up. Okay. Right click, break contour group apart. Select the contour group and the background and back minus front. 
Okay, that looks better than we how we had it before. Okay, now the uh, script text is a little bit more tricky. So we can go in, let me see how this works. We can go ahead and contour it, I believe, before we break it apart. Yes, okay. So break our contour group apart. And then select our contour group. Select our background, back minus front. Okay, so the background group is good. Now we have to work on this script text because as you can see, when we double click it, these lines overlap, and so that's what the Cricut's gonna cut, which you know, so we have to take those lines out. So we'll right click, break curve apart. Now what that also does is that, let me select this so I, you can see it, is it breaks the centers out too. And so our center is there, it's just in the back. So if I hit uh, shift page up, it's gonna bring it to the front. So now you can see, so we need to subtract that from the background. So um, select that and this shape here and back minus front. And so that's gonna go ahead and give us that. Uh, did it here in the K too. So I know that that shape's right there. I'm gonna select it, shift page up, bring it to the front, select my background, back minus front. Okay, now all the letters look like they're supposed to. So we're just gonna select them all individually. So just click on each one and then we're gonna weld them together and that's gonna make us a cohesive shape. Okay, and so if we want the Cricut to cut um, all of the black together, we wanna to weld it all together. So I've got this piece selected. I'm gonna select here and here, I'll go like this. Okay, now this is ready to uh, be exported as an SVG. So I haven't saved this yet. Okay, go ahead and give it a name. Now I'm going to select both the red and the black. And so um, I like to go in and kind of do this and say, okay, yeah, it is. It's all together, so we're good. And then I just control Z back to get it where it was. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to export this. Uh, so you have the export button here. You can also go file export or control E. Um, I'm just going to put this in artwork. So it's already selected as an SVG here. Export. And you want to, hold on, let me go back to that and show you. You want to make sure it says selected only. Okay, export. So it's going to bring up this SVG export. I don't really worry about the issues because it's basically telling me that there's a bitmap image here, um, some other stuff that doesn't really matter. So um, in general, these are the settings that I use. Um, seems to work pretty well. You want to make sure that your text is as curves, which it already is. It shouldn't be a font anymore. You should have already converted it over to curves. Um, and then this doesn't matter because you're not exporting a bitmap with it. Okay, so you're gonna hit okay. And then I'll bring you up in design space. new project okay all right so here's our SVG it looks good here so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save sometimes it'll be a little bit funky and that's whenever we have to go back in and edit things, but this one should be pretty straightforward. Okay, insert image. Change this to 10. Okay, everything looks pretty good to me.